welcome to Drop D Music. I'm Brad. It is Sunday, so I thought I would do a quick demo of some great ambient kind of um, out of the box weird stuff. A lot of uh, things that are used in uh, kind of modern day church music uh, has a lot of synthy guitar. Um, ambient is the word that is used, so ambient kind of sounds. So I have several pedals from one particular company that I think do this very well and uh, probably don't get a whole lot of um, notoriety in the praise and worship or modern church music world. Uh, so I thought I would share uh, something that I use with you guys and see maybe if some of you might find it helpful. Uh, so the company that, uh, that I'm talking about today is the Caroline Guitar Company. Uh, they have several different pedals on the overdrive and fuzz uh, kind of market. And they also have two really cool pedals that do this ambient kind of uh, guitar stuff really well. The delay pedal is called the Kilobyte and the reverb pedal is called the Maytay Or. Uh, both of those pedals are lo-fi lo-fi pedals, uh, the kilobytes a lo-fi delay, and then the uh, Meteor is a lo-fi reverb. Um, they have some very cool features about them. Both of them have this Havoc uh, button, which basically takes the pedal into this uh, kind of endless oscillation um, that is really cool and can kind of take what you're playing and stretch it out and kind of make it last uh, forever. So um, I'm going to kind of run through those a little bit, kind of show you some sounds and stuff that you can do. Uh, the other two pedals that I'm using are uh, the Haymaker, which is kind of their flagship uh, uh, dynamic overdrive pedal. And then I have a fuzz pedal that's called Shang something. I'm not even sure what it's called. Um, I can't read what's on the face of it, so um, it's in another language, so I'm not, not even going to try. Uh, but anyway, it's a uh, fuzz pedal, and uh, those two together with the Kilobyte and the Meteor uh, give you this kind of really um, dynamic, dynamic range that you can cover, and then it has this ambience that uh, kind of lasts, lasts forever. So uh, anyway, we're going to play with those just a little bit. So for guitar today, I'm using a Strat that was uh, rescued and rebuilt uh, by my friend Jim uh, Mayher. He's built a couple guitars for me, and uh, this was a rescue guitar. And it's one of the few guitars that I have that the uh, bridge isn't just locked down on. Uh, so it has the tremolo still intact. So I'm going to use that today. Uh, for an amp, I am using the Bad Cat Judah. Uh, it was kind of built for this modern uh, modern church world. Uh, I'm using the EF86 channel, which is channel 2 in that today. And uh, I'm also using the uh, Bad Cat Unleash attenuator on that as well. I like uh, what this amp sounds like with the master volume kind of turned up a little bit. Uh, the master volume in this one does change the, the feel and it changes kind of the... Um, the color of the sound. So I like it with the master volume turned up a little bit. So uh, I have the master volume turned up and I'm using the uh, Bad Cat Unleash as an attenuator on it today. So here we go. This is the Clean Tone. I'm going to uh, play with the Kilobyte and the Mate Or just a little bit so you can kind of hear uh, those two pedals by themselves uh, before we start adding anything else to it.
that's the two of them by themselves, and when you add the two together, it sounds like this. Pretty neat, so kind of a trick with these two pedals that's very, very unique that you can't do with a lot of other pedals is they both have this uh, this kind of drive uh, drive knob, and what it does is it kind of adds gain or adds drive to the, to the effect side of the pedal. So you're clean, uh, you can run into the pedal very clean, and then you can affect the, the effect signal coming out of it and make it more overdriven. What I'm using it for today is so that you don't hear a lot of the pick attack from what I'm playing. Uh, so you don't get that initial initial pick attack, but you get the affected sound that kind of stands out beyond, uh, beyond the initial tone that you have. So a lot of people will use a volume pedal or the uh, volume knob on the guitar to kind of get that same kind of effect, but I think it's really neat with these two pedals in particular that you can dial it in and set it up that way, and it's one less thing that you have to worry about. So I don't have to worry about rolling off the volume knob and playing a note and then kind of swelling into it. I have the pedal set up uh, so that they'll do that on their own. So I'm going to add to that now, and we're going to use the Haymaker and uh, this fuzz pedal. This fuzz pedal has an octave on it also, so we're going to play with that a little bit. And uh, kind of add to it so you get a little nastier, overdriven sound on the front end. And uh, hear, hear how that uh, responds with the Kilobyte and the Meteor. So you can already hear that, hear there how it wants to kind of oscillate on its own. Uh, you begin to get some uh, interaction between the pickups of the guitar and the amp as it starts to feed back, that kind of thing. Uh, so now we're going to add the fuzz pedal to it and take it to another level.
yeah really really cool um, how you can kind of set it up so that the the natural oscillation um, the feedback happens between the guitar and the amp begins to happen uh, kind of on its own uh, it's really really cool uh, one other little trick I want to share with you that I, I have done with a couple of different pedals, uh, these Ernie Ball pedals. Uh, I know people are down on these all the time because these strings break or whatever. But anyway, there is something really cool that you can do with these that I don't know of anybody else that does this. Um, but because of the way the Ernie Ball pedal works, and you can kind of manipulate the string, and you can set kind of where the the tone pot that's in there, excuse me, the volume pot that's in there, you can set where it starts and where it stops. Uh, one really cool thing you can do is you can set the stop position to be open uh, so that that volume pot is open just a little bit. So what it'll do is when you have a setup like this, I can then use the, the Ernie Ball volume pedal to kind of affect the initial attack or uh, how much overdrive is on the uh, the initial note that I play and uh, then as you roll it up it kind of adds uh, adds to that so anyway I kind of show you how that works I'm gonna turn everything on again so everything on the pedal board will be on uh, so we have the fuzz going into the haymaker going into the kilobyte and then into the mate or and then runs to the uh, Bad Cat Judah and this will be with the volume knob excuse me the volume pedal turned all the way down and what it does is let just a little bit of that signal through so even with everything on it's relatively clean and uh, then you can kind of add to that so here we go So with a set like that, both the uh, Kilobyte and the Mate War have this kind of havoc switch that sets each of the pedals into this endless oscillation. So you can kind of start from that position, then add that havoc switch in, and you'll hear the sound kind of begin to oscillate on itself and kind of grow uh, as you go. So let's do that a little bit. There you go because it's sunday i talked about kind of modern church uh music worship music a lot of um a lot of opportunity for guitar players to do some different things outside of the norm and uh, kind of fill some space and uh, these guys at the carolina guitar company uh, you know i don't think get a lot of uh, a lot of credit for uh, how well uh, their pedals kind of perform in that setting so i wanted to share that with you guys these are a couple of my favorites and how they work and, and by the way i'm on the extreme today so i have all of these kind of uh, pushed a little bit so this level of oscillation that's happening is uh, they, they actually have a little more on tap than that but uh, that's kind of maxing it out for this space uh, to fill it out you can clean those up quite a bit and find everything in between some really dry signal uh, to kind of what we're running today um, but just wanted to kind of um, 
you know share that with you guys that uh, these pedals don't get a lot of notoriety to be used in, in that kind of uh, modern church world, but they work really well for that. And uh, it's two of, uh, two of my favorite pedals for it are the uh, Kilobyte and the Meteor. And of course, uh, I've got a video on the Haymaker by itself, just a Haymaker video, uh, the dynamic drive there. And then uh, this fuzz pedal is great too. So anyway, thank you guys for hanging out. Check out some other videos and uh, subscribe down below and uh, check out some videos that come out in the future. So thank you guys for hanging out.